And now we're going to talk about how the police raided Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev's Isha Foundation after Madras High Court sought a report on criminal charges. Let me also say it right on top that the Isha Foundation has denied that there was any kind of a police raid on the ashram. But let me anyway tell you the story. Apparently, a team of 150 police officers led by additional superintendent of police of Coimbatore had conducted raids at Jaggi Vasudev's Isha Foundation ashram on Tuesday, which of course the Isha Foundation has now denied and we've been breaking that news. The purpose of the visit was apparently to conduct a particular inquiry and the focus on verification of inmates and rooms at the foundation, which of course the Isha Foundation has said nothing of the sort has happened. In response, the Isha Foundation said at that time, and I quote, as per the court order, the police, including the SP, have come to the Isha Yoga Center for a general inquiry. They are inquiring with residents and volunteers, understanding the lifestyle, understanding how they come in and stay, etc. The inquiry, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, was the result of what the Madras High Court had sought, that being a report on the criminal charges registered against the foundation by one S. Kamaraj, a retired professor of the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University in Coimbatore, who had filed a Hibis Corpus petition and alleged that two of his very well-educated daughters, aged 42 and 39, were brainwashed, apparently, to reside at the Isha Yoga Center run by Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev. He alleged that both his daughters had virtually abandoned him and his 63-year-old wife, causing the couple great anguish. The man also alleged that some kind of a food and medicine was perhaps being administered to his daughters at the yoga center, making them lo lose their cognitive faculties, even though, let me add, both the daughters in front of the judge had denied their father's claims. They said no, they were living at the Isha Foundation out of their own volition, considering they are adults. The Madras High Court made some very, very obs observations in this case. The first is as follows. They said, we want to know why a person who had given his daughter in marriage and made her settle well in life is encouraging the daughters of others to torture their heads and live the life of a hermitess. This is the doubt. That observation by the judge was of course in the context of Sadhguru's daughter's marital status. Next, when the young women intervened yet again, the judges addressed them and said, you claim to be on the path of spirituality. Don't you think that neglecting your parents is a sin? Love all and hate none is the principle of devotion, but we could see no so much hatred in you for your parents. You are not even addressing them respectfully. And for those who have just joined us in the broadcast, let me once again reiterate, the Isha Foundation has issued a press statement denying that it does not ask people to take up monkhood. Let me also read out their statement. The Isha Foundation was founded by Sadhguru to impart yoga and spirituality to people. We believe that adult individual human beings have the freedom and the wisdom to choose their path. We do not ask people to get married or take up monkhood as these are individual choices.